హాయ్ వివర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ కవిత అశోక్ ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ అండ్ మోటివేషనల్ ఛానల్ టుడే ఫర్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్స్ ద టాపిక్ ఈస్ ట్రిగ్నామెట్రిక్ రేషియోస్ అప్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్స్ నైన్టీన్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ మినిట్స్ సో ఇట్ కంటైన్స్ నైన్టీన్ మార్క్స్ టూ మార్క్స్ ప్లస్ టూ మార్క్స్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ మార్క్స్ టోటల్ నైన్టీన్ మార్క్స్ ఇది నేర్చుకుంటే మనము ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రాయాంగిల్ హైపర్బోలిక్ ఫంక్షన్స్ కూడా కంప్లీట్ చేయొచ్చు సో అరౌండ్ ఈ టాపిక్ నుంచి నైన్టీన్ మార్క్స్ ప్లస్ రిమైనింగ్ మొత్తం ప్రిపేర్ అయితే ట్రిగ్నమెట్రిక్ పార్ట్ నుంచి ఫిఫ్టీ మార్క్స్ మనం స్కోర్ చేయొచ్చు అనమాట సో అన్నిటికీ బేసిక్ ఇదే జాగ్రత్తగా ఫాలో అవ్వండి రైట్ సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ప్రూవ్ దట్ కాస్ నైన్ డిగ్రీస్ ప్లస్ సైన్ నైన్ డిగ్రీస్ బై కాస్ నైన్ డిగ్రీస్ మైనస్ సైన్ నైన్ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు కాట్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ డిగ్రీస్ from the numerator and the denominator i took cos 9 degrees common so then what we can get here 1 plus sin 9 by cos 9 sin by cos is nothing but tan so 1 plus tan 9 degrees by 1 minus tan 9 degrees tan 9, 1 is nothing but tan 45 so wherever 1 is there we will replace with tan 45 so 1 plus tan 9 degrees by 1 minus 1 into tan 9 degrees so in the place of 1 i replace with tan 45 degrees according to the formula so then it will becomes a tan 54 degrees 54 can be written as tan 90 minus 36 it will be cot 36 so finally we proved that value will be cot 36 degrees so next question should them find the period of the function defined by f of x is equal to tan of x plus 4x plus 9x plus so on plus n square x first we will write tan of 1 square into x plus 2 square x plus 3 square x plus so on n square x if you take x common it will be tan of sigma n square we already know sigma n square is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 so in the place of that we will replace that we already know the period of tan a x is pi by mod a so period of the given function will be 6 pi by n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 like this we can calculate the period of the given function next question a is not an integral multiple of pi by 2 then prove that two questions are given here so for the first question we can replace tan a as sin a by cos a and cot a as cos a by sin a by simplifying this we can get 1 by cos a into sin a but we want two cosec 2 a na? that's why we just we multiply and divide by 2 so then what we can get 2 by 2 sin a cos a so 2 sin a cos a is nothing but sin 2 a so the finally 1 by sin will become cosec so the answer will be 2 cosec 2a then cot a minus tan a in the sense here again we will replace the same thing here we can get cos square a minus sin square a it is nothing but cos 2a and again we will multiply and dividing with the 2 here then by simplifying we can get 2 cot 2a like this we can calculate the given answer. in the next question find the range of 7 cos x minus 24 sin x plus 5 by comparing a cos x plus b sin x plus c we can get a value 7 b value minus 24 and c value will be fine so minimum value is nothing but c into under root of a square plus b square by uh, substituting the values we can get the answer as minus 20 and the maximum value will be c plus under root of a square plus b square then it will be 5 plus 25 it will be 30 so in two marks questions they may ask only minimum value and the maximum value a minimum and maximum value contains uh, closed bracket of minus 20 comma 30 it will be the range of the given function so this is also very important for two marks question as well as four marks question in the next question what we have to show here in the right angle in the triangle sin a plus sin b minus sin c is equal to 4 sin a by 2 sin b by 2 cos c by 2 right first we will take the lhs part we apply the sin a plus sin b form this is nothing but 2 sin a plus b by 2 and cos a minus b by 2 keep sin c like that only in the next step we got 2 cos a by 2 so whenever 2 cos c by 2 we can get just expand sin c as 2 sin c by 2 and cos c by 2 by taking 2 cos c by 2 common we can get cos a minus b by 2 minus sin c by 2 so the term is already in cos so that's why change sin into cos so for that purpose sin c by 2 can be written as 90 minus a plus b by 2 and sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos it will be cos of a plus b by 2 now it will be cos e minus cos d form then we can get minus 2 sin a and sin b form by simplifying we can get 2 sin a by 2 sin b by 2 so finally the answer will be 4 sin a by 2 sin b by 2 and cos e by 2 so this is very important question for the annual exam 
in the next question prove that tan 70 degrees minus tan 20 degrees is equal to 2 tan 50 degrees so to prove this first take the rhs part 2 tan 50 degrees 50 can be written as 70 minus 20 this is tan of a minus b form so sim by simplifying we can get here 2 into tan 70 minus tan 20 by 1 plus 1 why because tan and cot are the opposite functions it will be cancelled so finally the answer will be tan 70 minus tan 20 so we will expect this also for two more here we have to find out the sine function here the period is given 2 by 3 we already know the period of sin ax is 2 pi by mod a that is given 2 pi by mod a as 2 by 3 by simplifying mod a value will be 3 pi just replace that value then it will be sin 3 pi x it is very important for the annual the next question a plus b is equal to pi by 4 is given we have to prove two bits so in the first bit we want tan so a plus b by a plus b is equal to pi by 4 apply tan a plus tan both sides so it will be tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b cross multiply that uh, here the answer will be 2 now that's why I add 1 on both sides here so then in the right side tan b common in the sense 1 plus tan a already 1 plus tan a is there by taking 1 plus tan a we can get 1 by 1 plus tan b that will be 2 in the second one the problem contains cart apply cart here again we can get the same thing after uh, cross multiplying adding 1 on both sides here by taking cart b common we can get cart a minus cart 1 by taking minus 1 common cart a minus 1 by cart a minus 1 is common and cart b minus 1 that will be 2 so we will expect this is also for either 4 or 7 marks question in the next problem cart pi by 6 cart 2 pi by 6 so on cart 7 pi by 6 is equal to 1 year so now i am taking cart pi by 6 first term and the last term as one form and second term and the last but one term as a fun form like that i take the values cart 7 pi by 6 can be written as cart of pi by 2 minus pi by 6 so it will be converted into tan pi by 6 that's why i took that like that so by simplifying every term will get cancelled finally we can get the answer as 1 so here the thing is here tan and cart are opposite functions next uh, 7 marks question is given a plus b plus c is equal to 0 then we have to prove here cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square c is equal to 1 plus 2 cos a cos b cos c definitely we will expect this question for the annual exam only the thing is here whenever cos square a is there we can convert that as cos square a is equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2 right side i explained how i write uh, in place of cos if sin square is there then it will be 1 minus cos 2a by 2 in the next problem we will discuss that also so just replacing that values we can get equation number one from that cos 2a plus cos 2b plus cos 2c this is also a very important problem here individually also they may ask so cos c plus cos d form i applied uh, here cos 2 c can be written as 2 cos square minus 1 by taking 2 cos c common here we applied cos of minus theta as cos theta why because cos is an even function so finally we applied cos a minus b plus cos a plus b form that is nothing but 2 cos a cos b so by replacing this value in the equation number 1 by simplifying we got the answer as 1 plus 2 cos a cos b cos c so this is very important for the annual exam in the next problem what is given here sin square 52 and half minus sin square 22 and half is equal to this one sin square a minus sin square b can be written as sin of a plus b into sin of a minus b by simplifying this we can get sin 75 into sin 30 sin 75 is nothing but cos 15 will be root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 and sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 so by replacing that values we can get the answer as root 3 plus 1 by 4 root 2 here so in this problem cos function is given here uh, we already know the cos ax plus b function the period will be 2 pi by a in the place of a here 4 by 5 by replacing that value we can get 5 pi by 2 in the next function mod sin x is given we already know the fun the period of sine function is 2 pi but here mod sin x is there so in the place of x if we replace 5 pi x 5 plus x then also we can get the same answer f of x that's why the period will be pi remember that sin 2x sin x period is 2 pi but whenever whenever mod sin x is there the period will be pi next four marks question tan 160 minus tan 110 degrees by 1 plus tan 160 into 110 degrees equal to 1 minus lambda square by 2 lambda so when tan 20 is it we will replace lambda so for that sake 160 can be written as 180 minus 20 and 110 can be written as 90 plus 20 by simplifying this we get 
minus tan 20 plus cot 20 by 1 plus tan 20 into cot 20. We already know tan and cot opposite functions, tan 20, cot 20 get cancelled, we will get 1 here. By simplifying this, we can get the answer will be 1 minus lambda square by 2 lambda. So, here we applied the form of tan 20 as a lambda. Is it clear? So, tan of minus theta will be minus tan theta, it will be very important. In the next question, what is given here? Sin square theta plus sin square theta plus pi by 3 plus sin square theta minus pi by 3 equal to 3 by 2. So, for our convenience, I, am, I wrote theta plus pi by 3 as pi by 3 plus theta and theta minus pi by 3 as pi by 3 minus theta. Why? Because square is n, if you take minus also, minus square will become plus. So, I wrote that sin square of minus theta is nothing but sin square theta. So, now sin of a plus b is nothing but sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and sin of a minus b is nothing but sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Like that I expanded. So, finally a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square form we can write that as 2 times of a square plus b square. I replaced that values by simplifying we can get sin square theta plus 3 by 2 cos square theta plus half of sin square theta. Sin square theta plus half of sin square theta is nothing but 3 by 2 sin square theta. If you take 3 by 2 common, we can get sin square theta plus cos square theta as identity. So, 3 by 2 into 1, we can get the answer will be 3 by 2. So, in the next problem, I already explained about cos square. Now, sin square is there. So, whenever cos square is there, we replace with 1 plus cos 2a by 2. Here, sin square is there, na, that is 1 minus cos 2a by 2. But here, already a by 2 is there, na, that's why we will take only 1 minus cos a by 2. So, I replace with that value, I got equation number 1. By taking cos a plus cos b minus cos c, by simplifying that, we can get, uh, the answer will be minus 1 plus 2 cos sin, sin c by 2 and cos of a minus b by 2 plus sin c by 2. So, in the next step, I took 2 sin c by 2 common, then simplify, by simplifying that, we can get 2 cos a by 2 and cos b by 2 because I applied cos a minus b plus cos a plus b form. So, after getting this answer, replace this value in the equation number 1. By simplifying again, we can get 1 minus 2 cos a by 2, cos b by 2 and sin c by 2. So, this is also a very important problem. So, we will uh, apply for this 7 marks question. Again, the question will be sin a by 2 plus sin b by 2 plus sin c by 2 as 1 plus 4 sin pi minus a by 4, sin pi minus b by 4 and sin pi minus c by 4. These are the angles in triangle. So, that is why a plus b plus c is equal to pi and we can get a by 4 plus b by 4 plus c by 4 as pi by 4 and a by 2 plus b by 2 plus c by 2 as pi by 2. So, now this is sin c plus sin d form. We apply 2 sin c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2. In the next step, sin c by 2 I wrote as sin of pi by 2 minus a plus b by 2. Sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos. That is why cos a plus b by 2. I took 2 sin a plus b by uh, yes. Here 2 sin is there. Na? That is why I, I wrote cos as 1 minus 2 sin square a plus b by 4. I took uh, 2 sin a plus b by 4 common. I got cos e minus cos d form. By simplifying this, cos e minus cos d is nothing but minus 2 sin c plus by d by 2, sin c minus c by 2. By simplifying that, we can get the value as 1 minus 4 sin pi minus c by 4 and it will be sin pi minus b by 2 by 2 will be 4. So, sin a pi minus b by 4 as one term, sin pi minus a by 4 as one term, here sin of minus theta is nothing but minus theta, rd minus is there, this minus that minus get cancelled. So, finally the answer will be 1 plus 4 sin pi minus a by 4, sin pi minus b by 4 and sin pi minus c by 4. So, this is also a very important question for the annual exam. Right, in the next question, a plus b plus c is equal to 2s is given here. We have to show cos s minus a plus cos s minus b plus cos s minus c is plus cos s is equal to 4 cos a by 2, cos b by 2 and cos c by 2. Take 2, 2 terms as one part. We apply cos c plus cos d form that is nothing but 2 cos c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2. Simplify both of the terms. We can get the terms as 2 cos c by 2 cos a minus b by 2 plus 2 cos a plus b by 2 and cos c by 2. So, we already know 2 cos e by 2 as the common term, then it will be cos a minus b by 2 plus cos a plus b by 2. So, whenever 2 cos is in between plus is there, we can get both cos only. So, the answer will be 2 cos a by 2 and cos b by 2. So, finally, the answer is 4 times of cos a by 2, cos b by 2 and cos e by 2. Like this, we can solve the problem. In the next question, sin 78 degrees plus cos 132 degrees is given here. That is nothing but root 5 minus 1 by 4. So, I 
changed cos 132 degrees as 90 plus 42 degrees. So, cos 90 is there, na? it will be uh, sine, why because 90 is odd multiple, 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant, in second quadrant cos negative, na? that is why sin 78 degrees minus sin 42 degrees. It is in sin c minus sin d form, so sin c minus sin d is nothing but 2 sin c, 2 cos c plus d by 2 and sin c minus d by 2. Now, replacing the values here, cos 60 as 1 by 2 and sin 18 as root 5 minus 1 by 4, 2 to get cancelled. Finally, the answer will be root 5 minus 1 by 4. So, here yeah, the important thing is co function. The next problem, cos pi by 11, cos 2 pi by 11, cos 3 pi by 11, cos 4 pi by 11, cos 5 pi by 11 is equal to 1 by 32. So, we can solve this problem by CS method. Once remember, 5 terms are there, we can get 1 by 2 to the power of 5. If 4 terms are there, 1 by 2 to the power of 4. 3 terms are there, 1 by 2 cube. So, whenever the problem is like this, first to take the given value as C, in the same manner, in the place of C, if you take PS, that will be sine. So, sine pi by 11, sine 2 pi by 11. Multiply C into S. Take 2 2 terms as sin pi by 11, cos pi by 11 as one term, sin 2 pi by 11, cos 2 pi by 11 as one term. Finally, sin 5 pi by 11 and cos pi by 11 as one term. So, only sin is then just multiply and dividing 2 for the each term. Then we can get 2 sin a cos a form. 2 sin a cos a is nothing but sin 2a. So, that is why 1 by 2 into sin 2a into 1 by 2 into sin 4 pi by 11 like that. If we take all the values 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 to the power of 5 or 1 by 32. So, that is why we can get 1 by 32 into sin 2 by 11, okay, sin 4 by 11, okay, sin 6 by 11. But we want only pi by 11. Na? So, that is why 6 by 11 can be written as 5 minus 5 pi by 11. And 8 pi by 11 can be written as 5 minus 3 pi by 11. And 10 pi by 11 can be written as 5 minus pi by 11. So, sin 180 degrees minus theta is in the second quadrant and pi is the uh, even multiple of 90, there is no function, there is no change in that function. So, that is why finally we can get here sin 2 pi by 11, 4 pi by 11, 5 pi by 11, 3 pi by 11 and 5 by 11. So, that is nothing but simply S. So, C S is equal to 1 by 32 into S, S S cancels, C is equal to 1 by 32. C is nothing but all causes by taking that we can get the answer as 1 by 32. In the next problem, Summation of x minus 1 by 1 plus x y is equal to pi, pi in the sense product, x minus 5 by 1 plus x y. So, take x minus 5 by 1 plus x y, x as tan a and y as tan b. By replacing that, we can get tan of a minus b. So, we already know a minus b is there, b minus c e is there, c minus a is there, take that as a p, q and r. p plus q plus r will be 0. Then p plus q is equal to minus r. Simply by applying tan here, tan of p plus q is equal to tan of minus r. So, this is in tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b form. So, here in the next step, in the next step, uh, I apply tan here, then we can get tan b plus tan q is equal to minus tan r plus tan p tan p tan q, take minus tan r the left part. So, that is in plus part, that is why we applied summation, summation of tan p is equal to, uh, in the RHS product of terms are there, that is why pi into tan p. So, p is nothing but a minus b, we already know, I replace with that. And tan of a minus b is nothing but x minus y by 1 plus x y. So, I applied in the left as well as the right as x minus y by 1 plus x y. We got this answer. This is for 7 marks question. These are the questions from trigonometric ratios up to transformations. I covered maximum important questions. Along with these questions, prepare the remaining questions also to get 75 by 75 marks and to get the maximum marks and to get pass marks. All the best, all the best from the channel. Meri chapter to part two properties of triangle chapter hyperbolic functions kuda chadu kuna tlaite only trigonometric part ninche meku total 50 plus marks score chayachu. Ninu next video properties of triangle pane chess nano. Idi baga prepare yunte meku a chapter kuda easy out nan mata. I covered all the questions, I think. All the best. Even if you want to see a bunch of marks, thank you, thank you very much.